I have a theory. Something feels off because we learned in last week's episode that Salvor Hardin had a brief meetup with Harry Black and it was in that moment that she put the idea in Harry Black's head to reach out to Holber Mallow and that his use of this person was a direct reaction to the information that Salvor gave him. But we also learned that everything that Salvor was doing on the planet Ignis had to have taken place before these events happened here with First Foundation. If that's the case, where is Gale and Salvor, right? Something tells me that the fact that Foundation didn't save this moment for the finale means that this could possibly mean that maybe it's not real, right? Like, I know this is kind of out there, but what if the Mentalix and Gale all just projected the destruction of Terminus into the minds of everyone around? Obviously, the main hole in that theory is that Deverzel also witnessed the destruction. But let's just put that to the side for now, just in case she's also susceptible to the powers of the Mentalics. What if this is all a fake out by Harry White just to buy more time for the Foundation? Like, what if he wants Day and Deverzel and the rest of Empire to think that the Foundation has been destroyed in order for them to continue their work right under their noses of Empire? I could imagine Harry somehow affecting Demerzel when she walked into the vault, the same way he was able to affect the mind of Brother Constant when he kissed her on the forehead. I really find it hard to believe that Harry Black invited Brother Day into the vault unless he had an ulterior motive, because Harry Black never is as direct as he appears to be. 